Hi there, welcome to Something of Everything. In this video, we will see how to create shear wall in Stat Flow. Shear walls can be generated using surface elements in Stat Flow. Let us create the surface elements. Let's create shear wall at here, here, and here. And the doors in this window, in this wall. Okay, let's set them aside. Let's select one by one. View selected objects only and view. Let's create surfaces here first. Okay, this is our surface command. You can get that from geometry also. Right click. Okay, geometry at surface. Let's create another surface by selecting four nodes clockwise first, second, third, and fourth. Like as you also. Okay. Now that you know the surfaces are similar, you can select or copy it directly or if you want to just create it again, you can create it. Okay. Two, three, four. It's that simple to create the shear walls and stuff. Okay. Now one more to go. Child view. Let's create surface. To select all the port points comprises it. That you can get them interconnected within the surface. Okay. And it's completed. Let us see how it looks like. Okay, now we have to create the openings for walls in this shear walls. The opening shall be in the, these three floors. Selected floors. Let's create opening for the door. Three and four. Okay. Now see it. In this surface, let's create opening in that surface. Done. Okay. Now close this. Select another surface. Select opening. You can see it. Insert opening in the surface. You can find that here. Can you find it in this geometry command? It should be here somewhere. Mm. Let's create the opening first, then let's find it. Then, and these are the openings. The surface. You can see it. This way you can create the surface. Let us give it a property of surface thickness. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. Surface thickness show up. Which can be shown in this view. Can you see it? This way you can model the shear walls in step. The opening in this wall is not required. You can remove it by just selecting it and deleting. Okay. Let us see how we can delete it. Sorry. This is not what is being selected. This way you can select it. And how to remove the openings, right? Just right and watch you can't delete it like this the whole surface will be deleted you have to go to input file let's see the surface this is surface number 3 
Ethan opening. This is 14, 15, 16 Ethan opening. This is rectangular, rectangular opening. You can delete it from here. Let's see whether it's being deleted or not. And it's deleted. And I guess there should be somewhere somewhere you can delete it. Right? Geometry, surface, my geometry. This is surface. And these are the openings. Can you see it? And you can delete them from here. There is no opening in this. You can check that out. This is the preview of surface 1, surface 2, surface 3. These are as property. Division default. Incidences. These are four nodes which are creating the surface. This is division default. You can default division is five. You can default make it to ten. Let's see the preview. Let's see one of the player surface. Check how it looks like. Okay. You can see it. This is set division to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is set division to five. One, two, three, four, five. If we change it to 5, it will look like equal. Can you see it? And if there is opening, it shows here rectangular opening. And edge property defaults. Opt for opening. Okay. You can check out the surfaces like this from geometry, surface incidences. Okay. Thank you for watching, guys. Keep watching. Time to pick dot in. And yeah. Don't forget to like, comment and share on the video. Thank you.